Live from Central Pennsylvania, this is CBS 21 News at 530. We begin this half hour with a CBS 21 News exclusive, a sit down with Governor Tom Wolf. We're glad you're with us. I'm Tanya Foster. And I'm Rob Hanrahan. For months, we've been answering your questions about so-called bomb trains. These oil trains carrying volatile crude oil roll through the mid-state every day. So I went straight to the governor to get you some straight answers in this CBS 21 News exclusive. I'm not sure you're aware of this, but I'm right. My house is right on a railroad, on Norfolk Southern Railroad tracks. I didn't know that. Yes, so I'm very sensitive to this. Railroad safety hits close to home for Governor Tom Wolf. I just want to make sure we're doing everything we should be doing and can be doing at the state level to make sure that we're safe. The entire cabinet has done a bomb train disaster drill. The governor has met with Norfolk Southern. He's working with the fire commissioner to coordinate response times at the state and local levels. He wrote a letter to the president asking for new safety rules. He's calling for more federal and state inspections, and the administration has hired a consultant to study PA oil by rail transport. The disaster in Canada that wiped out an entire downtown area and killed nearly 50 people. And this recent derailment and explosion of Bakken crude oil in West Virginia are top of mind in the Wolf administration. One of your first priorities after taking office, and, and even in your transition, I believe, was to address this issue. Yes. Do you feel central Pennsylvania is completely safe from these? I, I don't know what the odds are, but uh, we're not completely safe when, when you see other areas like Quebec, like West Virginia, uh, have these kinds of accidents. This is why I'm focused on this. I think we can, I'm sure there are things that we can do better and I want to make sure that I leave no stone unturned uh, to do everything we can. I'm getting calls from people since my series of stories started to run and they're concerned, they're worried. They, they see these trains a lot. W what can you say to them? I'm, I'm concerned. I want to minimize that risk. I'm doing everything I can starting with that first week in office. Uh, having uh, an exercise of the Pennsylvania Emergency Management uh, Agency to make sure that, that all of us in the cabinet know what we're to do if we have an explosion right here in Harrisburg. The U.S. Department of Transportation recently handed down tougher safety regulations, but one of the most important to many, eliminating the outdated DOT 111 cars and updating the newer tank cars could take more than five years to complete. Am I satisfied that, that the federal regulations have gone far enough and the answer is no. And at this point, are we prepared to respond? Yeah. I think, I think we are. We can do all the right things we want in terms of public policy, but uh, in case of, a, of, a, of an emergency, we need to respond quickly and effectively, and I want to make sure that, that this government is able to do that. So I'm doing my best. Another issue raised through our reports is how close the trains run to Three Mile Island something that has yet to be addressed. Is there extra concern or is there extra uh, effort on your part to maybe try to get some trains rerouted, especially the ones that go so close to TMI? I think the, fed, the new federal regulations look at, at routing, but that's, that's a good question, I, you know, something we need to look at. Safety improvements are hugely expensive, but oil in Pennsylvania is hugely important to our economy. We want the jobs, we want the economic benefit of, of oil coming through Pennsylvania. We also want the safety. The governor promises to keep looking for more steps the Commonwealth can take to improve safety. And with a daily reminder in his own backyard, it's not likely Governor Wolf will forget about it. My home is so, so on the tracks that my house shakes when a train goes by. And so with that daily reminder, the governor will continue to fight for more safety rules, but already the new federal regulations are being challenged in court. Now, we saw a, a, a derailment in North Dakota. Mm -hmm. We did not see that huge explosion that we have in the other crashes that we have seen. Why is that? This is the first time we're reporting this. North Dakota, where the volatile Bakken crude oil is extracted, passed new regulations. They changed the regulation on the pressure of oil before it can be put into a tank car. North Dakota says it may have found the answer to stop bomb trains in their tracks, but more research is being done. Excellent. Sit down with the governor and got a lot of questions answered sure that did. a lot of people needed answered. Well, you can see all of our bomb train reports that we started exclusively back in January. For that, just go to CBS21.com.